What's going on everyone? Steven here, back with another tutorial for you. Today I'm going to be doing something a little more in the spirit of the tutorial where I demonstrated how to patch out uh, CD checks from certain older executables where they required the CD to run. Uh, in this case, this particular application, Microsoft Digital Image Suite 2006, uh, after a certain Windows 10 update, you can't install it anymore by its default installer. Um, and so what I'm going to show you how to do is fix that. Um, there are a lot of older games and things that use exactly these same Microsoft installer files and um, you know some of them might not work and so this will show you or give you the knowledge you need to poke around uh, a lot easier than what you might automatically try to do alright so if I pretend like I'm going to install this here I end up getting this error um, setup could not launch the MS Internet Explorer 6.0 installation I say okay alright it's it won't work there are other errors that you might get through the installation process as you try to install where it says it can't launch something or uh, Internet Explorer 6 could not install or finish installing anyway all of these errors have to do with Internet Explorer 6 trying to install and not being able to install uh, for whatever reason with this um, so basically we're gonna figure out what to do about that so you might be inclined to open this you know it seems like it's an executable so you might want to try to open it in a debugger but what you're gonna get is that it doesn't recognize this as a PE format file because it's not so MSI files are actually comprised of a lot of data in tables and that data has to do with like where the files are for installation which parameters need to be ran for certain things and all kinds of stuff so we're gonna dig into that and I'm gonna show you about all that so basically like I was saying you know this program you just see all kinds of people like why can't I do this and there's this one particular blog post where this guy has a bunch of you know things that he's thrown in as guides to to help people get around that and so some of this stuff is pretty involved but what I've done is created a patched version and I'll have a link to my github here this particular one so if anyone's watching this and they're interested in installing this particular one all you need to do is download this file and place it into your installation directory you might have to unpack the files off the CD because it won't install from the CD so this PIP folder where you see this pi.msi you would just put this file into there so anyway I'll have that link in the description um, but basically what we need to do is download the Windows 10 SDK all right and you can just download the ISO uh, you could try to download the installer, run it, and then select the files you want to download and then do that. Um, but in the ISO is an application called Orca. And Orca is Microsoft's tool for opening and editing MSI files. Okay. Well, also here in my GitHub repo that I've made for this, you know, MSI related stuff, I've actually gone ahead and pulled out the files that you would need so what you would do is download these four files and then run this Orca MSI and it's almost a silent installation that you get <laughs> but basically you'll end up in uh, your program files x86 folder with Orca and then from in here you can run Orca.exe alright uh, also, after you install Orca, you can conveniently right-click on an MSI and choose Edit with Orca. So we're going to do that instead. All right, so now that we've got this up, all right, it's basically a big database that we're looking at. Here are the tables. All right, we can click through here and look at all kinds of stuff. But in this pi.msi, 
uh, without wasting much of your time. I mean, you can click around on all this stuff and look at registry, keys that are created, checked, modified, just everything that has to do with what's going to happen with installing this program. It's all here. But we're interested in this table. Install execute sequence. Okay. So here we've got this column sequence. If we click that, now we can see it in its sequence one through whatever 102. Um, I don't know if that's actually the sequence of it does this first, then this, 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 or what, but you know, it doesn't really matter to us. Basically, if we poke around through here, uh, what I first did is I wanted to try to find things in this file because when I first opened this and did this, I hadn't seen this application, I hadn't used it, I had no idea that an MSI file was comprised of these tables, I had no idea of any of that. So, uh, some of you who are familiar with all the game hacking stuff will obviously think of this as um, using Cheat Engine's Mono Dissector or using DN Spy to open up Mono assemblies and just look through plain text stuff. This is that same sort of convenience right here. So anyway, uh, I did an edit and a find and I was trying things like Internet Explorer, Explorer, IE, and eventually you know, found my way into this table, this install execute sequence. And if we look at 50 here, we see install Internet Explorer 5. All right. And so basically, all that you have to do to get this to work now is go edit and, uh, or tables rather, and then drop rows. So you click on this row that you want to drop. And those of you who are into SQL, you know what dropping something means. It's basically delete it, get rid of it. So tables, drop row. It'll ask if you're sure you want to do that. We say yes. And then all that you have to do is save that. All right, and I'm going to save it to the same folder and I'm going to call it PI2. The reason it's called PI is because this digital image suite is actually, it started, its earlier versions were called Microsoft Picture It, PI, Picture It. Anyway, so, so now if I click Save, okay, and then we see here, that's where it is. If I want to run that, I have to close Orca first. So once I close that, then I can run this. I click Next, 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 Install, Yes, and then we'll see that everything installs just fine. So <laughs> that's all. That's all we had to do. All right. So anyway, um, again. I just wanted to show you that really quickly because these MSI files are all over the place and as you can see this ORCA program makes it super convenient to poke around in those files and find things of interest. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.